Hi guys, I will be teaching you how to uh, add custom fonts into your uh, Xamarin applications. So first things first, let's just have a label here. This text that says, this is my custom font. Obviously we haven't added a custom font yet, but we'll uh, change that later. And then I'll show you guys. So, first things first, we actually need to find a font. So let's head over to our web browser. Uh, if you have a website uh, where you get your fonts from, uh, feel free to just type that in and get a font. Uh, I go to uh, Google Fonts over here, and basically what this is, it's a huge collection of freeware. Uh, all of these fonts, non-proprietary, you can use them in personal and commercial projects. The only thing you're not allowed to do is uh, sell the fonts on their own. Uh, so. Basically, out of all of these fonts, we can just choose one. Up here, we can uh, change the sentence to see how it looks. This one looks kind of cool. Uh, so, I will be choosing one of my favorite fonts, Jolly Lodger. So, as you see here in Google Fonts, uh, these are licensed under the Open Font License, and these are freeware. So, again, we can preview the text by typing stuff. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and download the family. Uh, okay. Now we can just extract it. <coughs> Sorry. And so, let's go over to wherever it was, Joey Lodger. So, as you see, uh, it comes with the open font license. This is just uh, some licensing for the freeware. And here we have our true type font file. So this shows the font. Let's just uh, go ahead and copy this. And really, uh, we only need the font file, obviously. So uh, this part is uh, rather simple, actually. What we need to do is paste the font into our project. And we need to change the uh, build action of this font file to embedded resource. So what I like to do is uh, paste it inside a folder because that way uh, my solutions remain organized. So I'm going to make a folder fonts and then click on paste. Uh, now it is crucial that uh, we change the build action from none to embedded resource or this will not work at all. So now that we've done that, we're basically done. Now we just need to uh, go to literally anywhere uh, outside a namespace. Uh, it's pretty easy if you just go to app.saml.cs and do this. What we want to write is assembly, export font. Uh, now two things. We need to write the name of the font file and we need to write the alias that we are going to uh, refer to the font as. So the name of the font file needs to match one to one, which is Jolly Lodger minus regular dot TTF. I think that should be correct. Indeed it is. And then Elias equals, let's just uh, call it Jolly minus Lodger. And now we can refer to the Elias and use a custom font in our Xamarin Forms applications. Let's go back to main page uh, where we have our label. And now to actually specify a font, we have to write font family instead of just font and set it equal to what we called our Elias, which was Jolly Lodger. Now it's not gonna come up with IntelliSense and then just fill, it, uh, fill in the name for us because it's not that smart. Uh, so just type it all out and it should work as long as you have uh, embedded resource and you have this. So. One quick note, uh, if you're using a localization in your app, then most fonts will still work uh, given that they have the glyphs. Uh, this is uh, one thing to note if you are planning on localizing to certain sectors. If you're, if the font that you're using does not have the glyphs for that, uh, that's going to cause a problem, so watch out for that. As you see, uh, 
yes, it does in fact work. However, the font size is too small, so let me just increase that to, let's say, 36. There we go. As you see, it's using a custom font now. I use custom fonts uh, quite often in my applications, and it's pretty easy, as you have just seen. So, yeah, that was it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.